So maybe from where you're sitting, I do a lot of fire vehicles. Maybe even too many. But we're going to do another. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And indeed, I'm going to do another fire vehicle. A little bit more modern. We're going to move all the way up the Hot Wheel chain to an old 442 Fire Chief. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's get to work. So the old 442 has been around the Hot Wheel world for a long time in a lot of different configurations. You have the old 442, you have it as the Fire Chief car, you got it as a military vehicle, uh, you, you have all these different versions of the casting. Um, this is a plastic-based Olds 442 uh, with molded-in lights on the roof. And uh, we're going to make it a Fire Chief car, just like it is, but we're going to do our own thing. So I, I think one of the reasons I'm not a fan of plastic-based cars is I'm always worried about damaging them too badly while I'm drilling out the rivets. Um, although I really haven't ever done that, so I don't, I don't know why I'm freaked out about it, but I, I guess I am. Um, you know, just be careful here, you know, so that you don't end up drilling a big giant hole in the base that you then need to try and deal with when you put the car back together. So as a later model Hot Wheel, this is going to have a straight axle in it, which is going to make this a perfect candidate for the brand new Hot Swap Hubs. Uh, that's going to make uh, changing out the wheels really, really easy. The base is in okay shape. Uh, Molotov, uh, Molotov, Molotov, I'm thinking of like setting things on fire or something. I don't, I don't know. But Molotov chrome pen will will really fix that thing up. The interior is in decent shape. The glass needs some polish. And the body is just kind of stinky. So uh, we just need to go ahead and get the posts prepped before we strip it. Anyhow, if you're not using Vix bits and shielded drilling to uh, drill out your posts, man, are you missing the easiest way to, to not only take apart the cars, but to prep the post to drill them out later. It's just such a, a fantastic way to work. I love it. Um, you can always find a link for the Vix bits. Uh, listed in the description of my videos, and you can find it by going to my uh, Amazon store at www.amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Paul Udellis. These things really are fantastic. Now, on this car, I didn't need to do that, okay? Because these later cars, the uh, rivets are not rounded over, they're dimpled. And so you can just put a regular old drill bit in there and drill them out. But uh, on all the earlier stuff, Vix bits are the way to go. Make sure you get yourself a set. Anyhow, enough of that. Once the post is drilled out and tapped and everything like that, we can go ahead and put some screws in here and then move on. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a very visual guy. And so my uh, first objection to the way the warm liquid goo is, is looking the the citrus strip is that it's kind of this a uh, creamsicle looking color instead of that clear jelly looking stuff but also it's so thick and gooey now look i'm pushing the car down because it's taken forever for these cars to sink down into the goo it's killing the goo shot okay we we all need to start a, a rally with citrus strip to bring back the original kind of citrus strip that that really um, translucent orange goo that uh, it's a little more viscous and the cars sink into it nicely. So 
uh, write your senator, write Citrus Strip, whoever, complain about it, tell them we want our Citrus Strip back. These older cars really uh, only take a little while in this stripper. I think this was maybe an hour, and I'm plucking it out, and now I can go ahead and take it to the sink where I'll wash it off, get all the goo and leftover paint, and then we can go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Now, in this particular case, um, all we're looking for is any kind of damage or anything that might need to be sanded or filed away. Uh, other than that, I don't really need to worry about toning or anything. This is going to get an opaque red paint job. So uh, that means primer, the whole nine yards. So toning, things like that, not an issue. So I've inspected the car. It's dry. I'm at the paint booth. And we will go ahead and hit it with some Tamiya Fine Primer. And this stuff is just gold, man. I'm telling you. You want to step up your game on your paint jobs. This is what you want, okay? Stuff is amazing. Now, from the Red Line Shop, we're going to use some Competition Red. And uh, this paint is pretty awesome. I'm loving this stuff. Uh, it works just like the Spectra Flame stuff, which is really easy to paint with. Uh, you mix it up with a little bit of the hardener, and you're going to get a really vivid color uh, and a nice hard shelled finish that's going to just look amazing on your cars. And then if you want to go a step further, which we're gonna, you can throw some clear over that. And man, these, these are going to look amazing. Love this stuff. Okay, so the primer's dry, and we're going to lay down some red here. And this is going to get the normal tack coat first. Then we'll build up to the nice, shiny, wet coat. Uh, and that's going to give us a really beautiful, glossy finish. And in this case, it's important that we have a glossy finish. Now, you can paint the car with a flat-colored paint, but you're going to have to go back and put gloss over that if you're going to put decals down. Otherwise, you're going to get silvering. So uh, in this particular case, this paint will come out wonderfully glossy as long as I apply it properly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply this, get a nice, deep, smooth, rich, wet-looking red paint, and it's going to take the decals wonderfully. Now, I've decided to use uh, the Chicago Fire Department livery, and this is their little logo, uh, and we're going to address this up as Chicago. Now, normally, Chicago fire rigs are red with black roofs, um, but I, I just didn't feel right about putting a black roof on this car because there's not really a good line over at the back of the car for it and it, it it felt like it wouldn't look right so i opted not to do the black roof but i am going to do the the cfd logo on the doors i'm going to put chicago fire department on the trunk and uh it should look pretty spectacular against this beautiful beautiful red so I, I made all the artwork in Adobe Illustrator, and I printed it out using my Ghost White Toner. And I'll tell you what I've done. I've pretty much given up stacking the Ghost White Toner and the color decals. I pretty much now always just print the white base layer separately and the color layer separately. And that's what I had done here. So I put the white down first, let it dry. Then I came back and put the clear uh, colored decals over the top of that. And it just seems to be the easiest way and give the best results. Now, like I said, this particular casting has straight axle. And so all I really needed to do was just take uh, my little nippers and nip away the existing wheels, leaving me with just those straight axles. I then put some of the hot swap hubs on. And now I can just simply press on hub style wheels and I'm in business best thing ever i'm telling you now what we need this would be kind of neat and maybe bright vision if you're listening um maybe we could get some hub style wheels without the red lines maybe that that look more like 
this era of wheel. So we we can mix and match and, and make the cars look the way we want them to. So just a bee in your bonnet on, on maybe something else. And also, and, and I know you've heard us mention it, maybe some uh, hub-style Johnny Lightning wheels. What do you think? I mean, th- with this hub system, there's a lot of options now. So uh, just something to think about. Anyhow, we've pressed the new wheels on. Yes, I'm going with big old fat drag slicks in the back and mediums in the front. Nice red line wheels, and they're going to look great on this old 442. So I did polish the glass with some flits, and then I gave it a dunk in the gauzy. And it looks fantastic. And now we're just going to go ahead and kind of connect it back up to the interior piece so we can put it into the body as one piece. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll layer on the, the base. We'll run in the screws and we'll almost be done with this car. I have to tell you, I'm really excited about the way this car is coming out. Uh, the hot swap hubs are really a game changer. They're making these cars so much easier and funner to do. This one is looking amazing. Like I said, I ran Molotow over the bumpers and they look spectacular. And all that's really left for me to do is a little painting on the light bar on the roof and we can call this car done. Right, there you have it, my old 442 Fire Chief car in Chicago Fire Department livery. Now, yes, it would be really nice if I could have done the roof in a gloss black, but I really just wasn't feeling it along the uh, the rear here. It just it didn't it just didn't feel right. So I just left it red, and I think it looks amazing. I really do. I love it. I can't wait to put this in my display case. I hope you love it too. And if you did, please give this video a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss, well, one of my fire truck builds. All right. If you have any questions, like always, put them down below. I love to hear from you guys. It's time for me to go. I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.